Shalom everyone, Shalom people of God. I go by the name Ruben Micah. I'm also known as Ruby MC. If you're joining us for the very first time, please go below this video and click on the subscribe button. And if you're an old timer, I also say a very big welcome to you. Welcome to my channel. And I must tell you that on this episode, I'm about to bust your bubbles. I'm about to send heavy shivers down your spine because I will be revealing something very, very, very shocking on this episode. Now, today we would be talking about a popular Nigerian clergyman and high life musician. His name is Prophet Chukwe Meka or Hane Mere, popularly known as Prophet Odumeje. My subscribers know how we do it right here. Get yourself a pack of popcorn, your favorite food, or your favorite drink, anything at all that you know that is gonna keep you glued to your seat. Because I can assure you that you don't want to get distracted at this very point in time. Buckle your seatbelt as you're about to hit high altitude right now. Let's go! All right. So, trust me, you wouldn't want to miss any part of this video. So, be sure to watch this video to the very end because at the end of this video, I would be revealing a shocking secret about this prophet that is going to break the scale of the eyes of a lot of you that are carried away with the lies of false prophets. Now, you would agree with me that there are many false prophets in the world. A lot of these false prophets could be the ones that you see on TV, having many private jets, um, building universities that the poor cannot afford to attend, having gigantic church auditoriums, you know, and uh, the whole world is accepting them. Yet, when you test them with the Bible, you find out that they are false prophets. But trust me, there are some that are false prophets and it is so glaring that they are false prophets yet the people do not cease to follow them it now looks as if the people are under a spell now we are going to be finding out in this video if prophet odumeje is one of such prophets who has spell binded a lot of people are spell bound a lot of people so we'll be that's part of the things we'll be finding out in this video so some of these things we would be analyzing it with scriptures while some will be analyzing it with common sense the sense that god has given us to know what is right and what is wrong also merging it with scriptures because there's carnal wisdom and there's biblical wisdom but we'll do our best to stay true to biblical wisdom so first of all let us start with the names that this prophet gave himself now how can a man of god ascribe himself to be the lion himself now we know that pastors used to say that jesus christ is the lion of the tribe of judah but this is a man here claiming to be the lion himself now let's put a question mark on that first of all now don't rush don't rush let's go with me we are in the process here now he also calls himself the liquid metal i wonder what that means he calls himself in i don't know if that's that's tongues i don't know if his tongues if it's giving himself names by according to tongues i don't know it says in the boski then bahose then the 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 fight and the finisher the lebadu sepre lamande the abido shika the dabuska bas i begin to wonder this kind of names uh, these names that a, a true man of god should be eh? will any true man of god begin to bear names that sound like occultic names or I don't, I don't know it sounds like occultic names to me but what do you think now that's the first thing i don't think that a true man of god will want to be answering names that cannot be interpreted it looks fishy but let's leave that let's go to the next thing now the second thing i want to draw to your attention is the strange pattern of healing that this prophet exhibits how he he turned the church of god to a wwe as the uh, wrestling ground where he begins to carry people up from the ground and slam them where he will be violently hitting people i wonder what sort of miracle is that he will lay himself on women you begin to see strange things that on a normal day you can't see any prophet in the bible do such now why am i referring it to bible yes we, bible is our pattern anything that you know that nobody in the bible has done a prophet is doing it you should know that that is not the power of that's not the power of god one thing that people do not know is that satan's 
or devils do miracles too. The Bible says when the Antichrist shall come, he shall perform signs and wonders. This is something Christians fail to know. But Christians today, once they just see that a man performs miracles, they say the power is from God. As far as it's a miracle. Because the people are so desperate to get anything done. So they, they, they would bow to any supernatural power as far as it gives them, it gives them results. So this man just does, his, his way of healing is just so strange. So, but yet, the people still follow him. You begin to see him use candles for, for prayers. You begin to see the way he does his things. All these things are signs, are strange signs for people to note. But a lot of people will not still catch. So, but I want you to know that in this part of the world, we've seen strange miracles of so-called preachers telling people to go and eat grass, giving people strange things to drink in the name of turning water to wine like Jesus. Then I've seen where a, a, a woman would even give her best to people to suck and tell them that God said she should be using such for miracle. A, 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 a pastor would naked the members in the name of miracle. A pastor would be sleeping with the members in the name of miracle. People do all manner of funny things in the name of miracle. And when you pick those kind of prophets and you expose them, followers will still come and start attacking you because the people are not truly following Jesus, but they are following men. So, but let's leave that. Let's go to the next one. Now, if those first two points I've given you is not enough for you to put a question mark on this particular prophet, then listen to this. This particular prophet has been seen countless times dancing worldly dance steps in his church. When I say worldly, I mean worldly. And he dances it so well, like one who goes to club often. You can imagine a, a, a man of God who ought to be holy, a man of God who ought to be righteous, a man of God who ought to be spiritual. You begin to see him make friends with people that on a normal day other people in the world are putting a question mark on the way these people got their riches and you see this pastor making close friendship with them now you begin to wonder and ask yourself how can a true man of god behave in such way you begin to see this same pastor featuring worldly musicians in his songs one time he played a worldly musician song inside his church and he was interpreting the lyrics to the people a worldly song now this ought to make the people sit down and ponder and ask themselves what kind of a preacher is this is this a sincere preacher will a sincere preacher do a thing like this countless times you see um videos of people spraying money at him in his church and he will be dancing anyhow would a would a true man of god do such a thing ask yourself where you are seated would jesus be seen doing any of such so, but if that point is not enough for you, let's move ahead. Now, point number four. I will be playing a video of Prophet Odumeje right now, where he was saying, speaking to a group of women, telling them the names of the power he uses and how he has not used some and he's using a particular one. This is a very popular video. I will just be playing it for the benefit of those of you that have not seen it. Let's watch. That's why I saw the power the liar used. In the bosky pahose is power. Le paduste pre la mande is power. Abido sheka is power. Dabus kapash is power. Le fase fare is power. Ganduka gandusa is power. Those powers I have never touched them. I never used them. I am still in the bosky pahose. Now, you did hear the names of the powers that this prophet claimed to use. He said he has Tabush Kabash, he has Abidoshika, he said he has Ganduka Gandusa. And we begin to wonder what sort of names of powers are these ones? Uh, is there anything relating to Christianity in any of these names? Or which of the prophets in the Bible were naming powers? That these are the powers I have. And we know where people get powers from. People get powers from Satan. All these kind of powers that have names is from Satan. If you get a power from Christ, the power that God gives is called the Holy Ghost. There's no other name you can give it. It's the Holy Ghost. That was the only power that fell down on the apostles on the day of Pentecost. That's the same power that fell on David. The same power that fell on Samson. The same power that fell on Elijah. The same power that fell on Elisha. But you claim to be a man of God and you are beginning to call names like uh, Dabus Kabash. Now judge within yourself, will a true man of God be using such powers? 
Now, finally, the time has come for me to fulfill the promise I made to you in the beginning of this video. I told you I was going to reveal a secret that is going to bust your bubbles. Now, allow me to add that what I'm going to be revealing right now, those of you that are still feeling that, no, um, um, Prophet Odumeje is my prophet. I love him. He's a true man of God. And you want to argue with me? By the time I will be finishing what I'm about to reveal, I just hope you would still be saying so. So, all right, let's begin. Now, I stumbled on a video where a native doctor was seen in Prophet Odumeje's church. When I say native doctor, I mean native doctor. You see that there is a dwarf ahead of this native doctor that always ring a bell. So, I'm going to play that video for you to quickly watch and notice what happened in that video. You notice that in the so-called house of God, in the church of Prophet Odumeje, you see that a very special seat was kept for a native doctor to sit on inside the church and this native doctor was seen in the video i'm about to show you now hugging a prophet a prophet hugging a so-called man of god greeting him they were greeting as per friends they were greeting like friends like it's a normal thing a native doctor walked into a church and rather than having his life changed rather than, rather than being converted he was treated like a guest of honor in the church of god let me play that video before and when we get back, we'll do more analysis. She's a humble doctor to me. Thank you so much. You are blessed. Thank you. God bless you. Mother's divine love. Mother's divine love. Please. You're waiting for the time to be. We did not call you like a Zosu of the children. A Zosu of the children. You are welcome with your entourage. Please, we are looking for a recorder. A recorder. Oh, Please, this is a recorder. Something like this. The other one is. Please, bring it on my phone because it will bless you. Please, General Thanksgiving. General Thanksgiving. Come to the altar with your envelope and receive the end of the blessing from the man of God. General Tanya, as we humbly welcome us to the Nigeria. General Tanya, please.
Now, you saw what happened in that video. You saw how a native doctor made a very um, massive entrance into a church of God, a house of God, and went straight to where a prophet, a man of God, was seated and greeted him. And then he went to be seated on a very fancy seat that was, even looks fancier than the seat of any member of the church. And then someone even went as far as going to meet him to spray money on his feet that is to pay him respect to pay a native doctor respect inside the church of god i can <laughs> I, I, I can see how much of a true man of god this man is now for those of you that will say no 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 maybe this person is just a a king maybe he's just a chief that they were respecting maybe he's not a native doctor okay before i show you i have two more videos to show you before i show you the second one let me show you one video where this same native doctor that came into prophet of the church was seen in oba that is the the burial ceremony of um, obi kubana the massive burial ceremony obi kubana held this same native doctor was seen in that place spraying a reverend father money spraying money on a reverend father let me quickly play you that video and when we'll be back when, when we are back we'll continue Now, the reason why I played that video is to show you that this native doctor has other men of God that he relates with. So, and I'm of a feeling that this man, it could be, there's a possibility that it is the powers that this man gave to these people that makes them to feel free or see him as a brother, see him as someone that is part of them. Now, it's, it's, it's funny, it's dicey, but I want you to think about it. This same prophet Odumeji has been seen in videos raining curses on native doctors, destroying shrines, saying that a native doctor, anybody believing in native doctor is this and that, that there is only one God, there is only one power, that our native doctors are foolish, native doctors are stupid people that believe in native doctor, they are mad. But now you are bringing native doctors into your church. You are relating fine with native doctors. Now I'll quickly play the last video. Before I play that video, I'll play a video of uh, Odumeje getting angry at people who believe in native doctors. Before I play the video of this native doctor doing his native doctor stuff. That is for those of you that are still doubting if he's a native doctor. So I'll play the last video. That will be the video that will end this video. 
So if you have anything to say, if you have anything to voice out, go to the comment section and tell me what you feel. I will be waiting for you there. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and share so that other people can also benefit from what you have benefited from. God bless you and I love you. There is only one God and there is only one power and that man is Jesus. Stay in Christ and fear not. There is no power in any native doctors. They are claiming us. Only thing they do is to collect your money, collect your chickens and collect your cows and you are God. There is only one God and that man is Jesus. And he's only one that can solve your problem. Anybody paying you to native doctor, you are a fool. Anybody going you to the wine, you are a fool and eat your food. I can only honor Patal and know what I am on as Ozichi. No one will go see a puddle. As I'm Banaba, no Charles, I go to go mad at that back of my cotal and dealer. As only when we are not to have an Apolagaba mojo. Up to be an island deserve. Pokopena Kragana, the ambassador of traditional culture. Yebuna Cornella, what do you handy will keep at the Mazo? And the Olaco education. And the Olaco education will be a twenty twenty three. I wish you have been a worker. Tata Kaina Granny Sumu Bonina. Then down and brass tape. I will have the Tata Nice and I jerk up here. I never could have won Cahobu. I never could have won Cahobu.